Celestial Blessings, my name is Helen Demetriou and today I'm going to make some kiffy so I thought I may as well record it and show you. Now my kiffy is going to be dedicated to my goddess who is Inanna Aphrodite, the Venus goddess. So some of the ingredients that I'm putting into that will correspond with her. If you wish to make it, um, make kiffy to correspond to your god or your goddess, or just in general, then just add what correspondences go for that uh, deity. So I have here about a teaspoon of honey. And the thing is, I don't know <laughs> any weights or measures because I just eyeball it, okay? Here I have about a handful of, of dates, which is like four or five. And I've put this in a food blender, a food processor actually. You have to keep blending it or chopping it up until it gets to this sticky, gooey stage. That's really important. So here I have mastic resin, which has been, um, I've, I've broken up into the ground in the mortar and pestle. Clove, cinnamon and nutmeg, cardamom. I have mahalep which is a, is a spice in the Middle East. This is specifically for the goddess Inanna because I don't know if you know about the goddess Inanna, the goddess Inanna and the Hulupu tree. This, it comes from the Hulupu tree. It's, a, it's the seed within the, the, the cherry of the Hulupu tree, but it's called Mahaleb. And here we have a mixture of resins. This is frankincense, nard and myrrh. And this is labdamon from Greece. And it's a really gooey, sticky, like tar-like um, substance that you, you're going to have to break up and really work into the, um, the mixture of the kiffy. I have juniper oil, which corresponds with the goddess Inanna. I have geranium flowers, which is Inanna, Aphrodite, Venus. I have something, a wine, a dessert wine. It's called Commanderia, but originally it was called Nama. And it was the wine that was used to, when performing communion with the goddess Aphrodite in Cyprus. So this wine comes from Cyprus. It was created in Cyprus. It was actually the first wine to be commercially created to sell to others. It's got a really ancient history. And I think that's about it. I've got my various crystals that you don't have to have, but I want to have, which is the rose quartz for Venus for love, my amethyst, moonstone, Abithikis Inanna is also not just a Venus, she's a moon goddess because her parents are moon gods, and lapis lazuli, which is the stone of Inanna. So I've also got a box to put them in, and I've lined it with... Um, with um, grease proof paper. So I'm just going to cleanse the ingredients and wake them up. I'm going to place my hands above everything and I'm going to ask the spirits of these items, these ingredients, who they, which they do have spirits, to please Work in my favour. Okay, now it's the simplest part. You just start adding. So we're putting the leaf, the flowers of the geranium plant. Put in the dates. I'm going to hold this back a minute. Put in all the spices and the resins. This is going to get messy, by the way. I mean, it doesn't always have to, but most of the times it does. Going to add juniper essential oil. Smells lovely. Let me just put that there for the moment. I need to work that in. And bit by bit, you just add in 
your wine. You don't need a lot, but you just need to, you need to be aware that it's not, it's better to put in little by little than put too much. So first I'm going to put in some, some of this labdomen that I'm going to break up into balls. It's really difficult to work with, but the smell of it is absolutely gorgeous. I really recommend that if you can get hold of it. I ordered the majority of this stuff from Greece and you can do the same. So everything's in there. So we just start working it in. I mean, it takes time. It's not going to be, oops, messy job. It's not going to be an easy job to get this all incorporated. Now, if you feel it's too wet, okay, add more spices. So say, for example, now, let me smell it. Now, I feel that this is a little bit too wet. So I'm going to go and get some more spices and add them in. So I added a little bit more spices and resins. And the consistency, it's a, it's a bit like this. Try to get it like this. When it's like this, get a plate. And in a plate... Put some uh, mixed spices in, take a little bit, don't worry, it's not going to stick to your fingers, but make it into a ball and roll it in the mixed spice. This stops it being um, so sticky and can be handled better. And then you just put it in to your little box or your container or wherever you want to keep it. Now I'm just going to keep on rolling these, but we'll we'll burn some um, charcoal. We'll light some charcoal and burn a bit. Ideally, you need to keep it in the fridge. Okay, it needs to go in the fridge because it needs to harden more. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. Let's get my incense burner. Put that there. Let it get nice and hot while I, I roll these, this kiffy. Okay. Let's put some on top. Let's hope it, it starts to, <laughs> to burn. So while that's doing, I'm going to make some more. So it's starting to smoke now. But ideally, it would be good if you leave it in the, in the fridge so they harden up. And then when they, you start to burn them, they're more easier to handle. And they're more, they will start to give you the smoke that you, know, that you desire. It's got some smoke going on. The thing with kiffy is it's not always about the smoke it's about the scent so you may not get a lot of smoke but you'll get a lot a lot of scent so as that's burning away i'm just going to continue to make my balls of kiffy and also speak to you about something i realized last night uh, during the full moon when i was you, if you saw the video i'll put it in the link below I was just meditating and then I was just thinking about how YouTube has changed. Like, I started making videos on YouTube 14 years ago, which I, I suppose is a, a long time ago. And in the magical community, that community that time, it was mostly women my age, older. Most of them were mothers, married or single, single mothers. And we used to make things with whatever we had, really. We didn't really have anything fancy or... We made videos about following the craft and our practice with our day-to-day day -day things, really. Whatever we had in the house, whatever we had in the kitchen, things that we handmade ourselves that we weren't buying. Not all of us. I mean, if we could, if we had the money or whatever... We would be making our own um, athames or wands, um, 
even our own um, idols out of clay. And I just noticed how different now the community is. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. You get any on your fingers, just rub them in the um, in the mix in the um, in the mixed um, spices. I just noticed how it's not like that anymore. Like um, the magic community community, as I've been watching videos over the years, it seems it's more. And I'm not putting anyone down. Okay. It's more for like the aesthetic, the look. It's like to make a good video or to have um, to have a lot of interest or followers. You need to look the part. Your the room you use has to look the part. You need to have. I think I mentioned it before. All these books and herbs and lining the walls and cabinets and this that and the other and it's it, it seems to me like it's all about the anas I, anesthetic <laughs> maybe it's all about the aesthetic it's all about the look if you look the part and i can understand that my way of doing things can seem pretty boring because like i said before in my one of my previous videos this for me is a way of life. I don't just go into a room and all of a sudden I'm a witch because I'm going to make a YouTube video. This is who I am and this is my life. Like I said, you know, it's not, it's, it's, I'm not an Instagram or TikTok witch or practitioner. I am Helen that, that's a witch for I don't know how many years. And I'm not putting it down because it does look lovely. It does look really nice. It looks lovely to see all of these things. And I suppose in these days, if you're not, I'm not saying nobody's a mother or nobody's married. If you, if you don't have like an established family where you, you know, you don't have money for this kind of thing to do out a room just for filming, you know, I've lost my, my mind now. But if you've got the money, yeah, okay, do it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong in it. I'm just saying that it's just changed a lot. It's not what it used to be. I mean, okay, our video's quality was really bad, you know, but for us, we thought we were doing really well. And obviously there used to be those in the community that used to get the majority of the views and everybody would be speaking about them and how great they are and it's, I noticed that it's it's the same, nothing's changed. Like I was looking for new books and I was thinking, let me have a look what what the others are recommending. And I found that everybody seems to recommend the same books. And I'm wondering, because listen, I've had experience with this. Are they recommending the same books because everybody else is recommending it? And to be to be a core cool witch, you have to say, well, you know, this is a great book. So that People, you become more like the others, you know, like one of their gang. I don't know. Or are these books any good? See, you just don't know anymore. And it was like that before. Like that, that part hasn't changed. It's just 14 years later, it's the same thing. And I'm not saying the books that are recommended are not any good. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, you know, I don't know. Listen, it was the same before. And it's like... Are the books good or are you just saying, are you just buying these books because everybody else is buying them and everyone else is giving reviews and everyone else is recommending them? That's all I'm saying about that. So I just want to add that if it, it starts to get completely unmanageable, okay, put it, the bowl and everything with the spoon into the freezer for five minutes and that will harden it up because... When you're working with things like um, honey and um, dates, or you can use raisins or sultanas, I forgot to say that, I think, then you can just pop it in to the freezer, let it harden up a little bit, and then carry on. Another thing that I wanted to add is, I make them of all different sizes, not just one size. I make some big, big balls, I make some small ones, and the reason for that is because sometimes I want to have it to, uh, to have incense to burn for longer. So rather than just have two small balls, just put one big one. And that's just better that way. 
So anyway, I'm going to continue. You can see the smoke is rising now from the from the incense. It smells absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you have a lovely day. I'm walking around the room. Take care. Love you lots. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.